Welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Shepard Pal Singh Sokhi and I'm going to show you how to make Hyderabadi chicken biryani. Now this is complicated though, but I'll make it simple for you. There is an art of making biryani. Definitely yes. The art lies in making the right kind of garam masalas. In Hyderabad, they have two kind of masalas that are used in biryani. Okay, one is a kala garam masala, black garam masala, which is a combination of black cardamom and a lot of other herbs. And then there's another one which is called cardamom garam masala, green cardamom. Now the green cardamom is more flavorsome and beautiful. And then you have flavors from the saffron, rose water. These flavors also combine. In Hyderabad, they, while boiling water for rice, make a bouquet garni, which is called portli ka masala. So I thought I'll simplify this and try and make something which you can do it at home. First of all, I have a nice little flat vessel for biryani. So about 600 grams of chicken. To this yogurt, about one and a half cup. I'm marinating the chicken first. Ginger and garlic paste, one and a half tablespoon. Desi ghee, one and a half tablespoon. One inch piece of ginger, julienne. Into this, green chili julienne, at least four numbers. Brown onion, about half a cup of brown onion. How to make brown onion is something which you can browse my YouTube channel and learn how to make brown onions. Next step, red chili powder, one and a half teaspoon. Turmeric powder, half a teaspoon. Garam masala powder, one teaspoon. Cardamom powder, half a teaspoon. Salt to taste. Mint leaves and some fresh coriander leaves. Juice of one lime. What I'm going to do is marinate this whole stuff. Chicken in the marinade is ready. Nice and beautiful. Cover. Keep it aside. Best for at least two to three hours. Now, while the chicken is getting marinated, what I do is I've got uh, boiling water here for the rice. Salt into this. And what you need to do is when you add salt, stir. Now, very important to this water, add shahi jeera. Royal cumin seeds, one teaspoon. To this, bay leaf. Peppercorn, one teaspoon. And bring this to a boil. In the meanwhile, I've got some saffron here. Hot water into this saffron. And I keep this aside. We'll use it when we seal the biryani in the last. I've got basmati rice, top quality, soaked here. And this is soaked for 20 minutes. Remove the water, drain the water. I add my rice. Now, very, very important. When you're boiling rice, especially for biryani, ensure that the quantity of water is little more. Because I tell you what, you know, as you boil the rice, the rice actually needs a lot of space in a biryani to actually fluff up. How much rice to cook? As you take the grain in between your two fingers, you should be able to apply little pressure and see that the grain presses down, especially for chicken. Now also in ancient days, I'll tell you, biryani handis were like this. A typical biryani handi would always be like this. And this is how it would be. Now this part you see is broad and this would always be cooked in charcoal, never on a gas. You cannot do a biryani on a gas because gas is right here. On a charcoal, it spreads all across. So this is perfect for a biryani. So on top, you see, the, the utensil actually, you know, narrows down so that all the flavors remain intact. There you see the rice slowly coming to a boil now. And because of the water, the rice is able to, you know, elongate, puff up, cook very well. So that's why little more water is required. This rice is ready to be strained in the marinated chicken. Spread the rice. Now to this, we'll quickly add green cardamom powder, a layer of that, garam masala, ginger julienne, mint leaves, some coriander, brown onion, 
देसी घी एंड सैफ्रन रोज वॉटर एंड नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज टेक द बैलेंस राइस आउट ऑन टॉप ऑफ दिस एंड फाइनली ब्राउन ऑनियन एंड द सैफ्रन बिट ऑफ इट रोज वॉटर देसी घी गरम मसाला ग्रीन कार्डमम पाउडर सील दी लिड चपाती डो इन हियर नाउ दिस नीड्स टू बी कुकड फॉर 22 टू 25 फाइव मिनट्स वॉट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट हियर इज द बिरयानी एज दे से वुड कॉल इट बिकॉज इट स्टार्ट विस्लिंग एंड यूल स्टार्ट स्टीम कमिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो एज द स्टीम कम्स आउट ऑफ इट यू नीड टू कुक फर्दर फॉर अबाउट थ्री टू फोर मिनट्स एंड देन रिमूव इट दैट्स वॉट अ बिरयानी इज नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज हाउ मच राइस टू चिकन द थम रूल इज एट हंड्रेड ग्राम्स ऑफ राइस टू वन के जी ऑफ चिकन दैट्स द थम रूल विच मीन्स द राइस हैज टू बी लेस दैन द चिकन लिटल लेस दैन द चिकन एंड दिस वी टॉकिंग इज रॉ अनसोक्ड राइस सो दिस आई एम गोन टू कुक इट फॉर एटलीस्ट at least 20 minutes and as the steam starts coming out that means my biryani is ready and then serve it with raita mirchi ka salan those recipes are still coming in keep watching my youtube channel we'll wait for the biryani to get done now finally after about 25 minutes like i said you know if the seal is not perfect then all the steam runs away so the steam is still coming from here i can see that and the steam reduces as the steam reduces that means the moisture is almost going out almost complete so that's when the biryani is right this should happen around 20 minutes plus oh look at the smell perfect biryani there's also a method to serve biryani you can't just poke your spoon serving spoon here you need to take a kitchen towel take it from the side look at this check it nice moist no water in there you can see that flavors absolutely intact wow and that's a perfect smelling biryani superb just go ahead and enjoy it.